All right, what's poppin', y'all? We back. It's DeAndre. It's Bailey. And we're here to give y'all the week one rundown of the Friday night college football games for the 2023 season. Let's go. Let's get it. We got four subpar games. This Friday, it ain't too much exciting is going on. If you got a concert to go to, maybe go to the concert. If you got a day, go ahead and go on the day. It ain't nothing to sit down and, you know, kick your feet up and watch. But, hey, if you a love it, if you a fan of the game, you know, love all that kind of stuff, watch any team, I guess this is the night for you-ish. Um, these, so, are, these are the games to put money on and make them more interesting. That's, yeah, that's exactly. Really yeah, exactly. So, first game, Miami, Florida at Miami, Ohio at Miami, Florida. The Battle of the Miamis. Will the re Miami please stand up? Miami, Florida is minus 16 and a half. The game is at 7 p.m. So, uh, Miami, Ohio was 6-7 and seven last year, trash, um, and Miami, <laughs> Miami, Florida was, well, they won their first two games, then they dropped their last seven, not, you know, high hopes, but, you know, the hopes went out the window, kind of, you know, with, with everything else, and, uh, yeah, both teams are looking to rebound from it, uh, so, what do you think about this game? I, so, like you said, with the real Miami, please stand up. Miami, you, you tried to come back. You, you tried to be back. It, it hasn't happened. Um, I think you win this game, but that's because you're playing a very mid-MAC team. So I think Miami of Ohio comes in. They cover. So give me Miami of Ohio plus 16 and a half points. I don't think they win the game. Uh, Brett Gabbert, he said he's going to show Miami who the real Miami is, and we obviously know it's in South Florida. So, um, you're not going to win the game, but you're going to cover. I like the confidence, though. You know, I think the boy and the game going to be really close. I think they could win, but I'm taking the po- I'm taking the points, man. You can't be, I'm going to be, I ain't going to lie, you're going to be a fool not to take these points. Miami, Florida is overhyped. They overhyped with these, with, with the spread. I know it's, you know, the name brand giving them these numbers. But if you look in pen and paper, Miami, Ohio is just as good. They might not have a little as much talent, but I think they're just as good. Give me Miami, Ohio, plus 16 and a half. The KC kid going to put on, he going to put on a show. And we'll see if they can get the dub. Second game, Central Michigan versus Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State is minus 14 and a half. And the game is at 7 p.m. Now, last year Michigan State was 5 and 7. Yes. Last year Central Michigan was... I believe four and eight, even worse. So both these teams, you know, they're they're looking to rebound and regroup and kind of make a name for themselves in the 2023 season. Uh, you know, I mean, this game is not gonna be one you know put put on your calendar by any means necessary. No. So, for me, I think I'm going. What do you think, man? What you think? Uh, so this might be a robbery game with the, with the two uh, two uh, records last year. Um, Central Michigan going into Michigan State getting 14 and a half. I'm gonna have to take the Spartans here. I don't love that. Um, I don't know much about Central Michigan. I love Maxion, so I will be watching them later on in the season on Tuesday nights. But I don't know enough about them. Four and eight in the MAC, not good. Michigan State is a bigger school, better recruits. You know, the head coach has not really performed up to what they thought he would be, but I think they cover here. So give me Michigan State minus 14 and a half. You know, I don't think either team will score many points. I think this is going to be kind of a, you know, 24 to 16 type of game. Give me the. I'm taking Central Michigan, man. I think you know they're gonna come through with some heart and whatnot. They playing basically a home game. They're not traveling too far from Michigan State to get to to there. They might just take you know, they might take the Mac bus to get there. And I think they're gonna put on, man. I, I just think Michigan State. They got a long ways to go to get back to where they want to be. And if I'm looking at it, this ain't the year to start it. They don't have any. They don't have any like eye popping things to kind of let me see what's going on, but. Who knows? The heart of the team might show up with somebody that we ain't, you know, expecting. But I think it's gonna be a close game. These these in-state games, I don't care who you playing. They're all the, the kids grew up together playing against each other in high school, little league, you know, and whatnot. Even in off season, they practice with each other. So I think they know each other fairly well, and that's why I'm taking Central Michigan plus 14 and a half. Okay. Third game: Louisville versus Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's plus seven and a half. The game is at 7:30. So. 
uh, Louisville got their coach, head coach Jeff Brom. You know, he's been doing a good job for the, for the school all along. You know, he's played for the school and whatnot. Um, he coached for them under Bobby Paterno. And then Georgia Tech has a brand new head coach. You know, he played for the Yellow Jackets, offensive guard in the 90s. But it's a season opener, you know? Season opener. Um, you know, the coach from Louisville has his jersey in the Louisville Ring of Honor. And so there's a lot of little, there's a lot of impression on him. You know, you hire in the hometown, basically kid, uh, now, you know, man, to be the man of the program. There's a lot of pressure that comes with that, and the first game of the season is really telling. It's really telling, and with this low line, it's hard to say, but I'm going to take Louisville minus seven and a half. What do you think? He's taking Louisville. So these coaches both play for the team's that they are coaching for currently. That is insane. Um, this is a terrible, terrible ACC game matchup. I think you're only watching this game if you went to Louisville or Georgia Tech or you put some money on this game. That, that should be the only reason that you're watching this game. That being said, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. we got some newer head coaches. Um, you know, they, they both want to win for their alma maters. So I think this game is going to be close. So I'm going to take Georgia Tech plus seven and a half. I don't love it, but that's my pick. And uh, if you don't have money on this game and you're watching this or you didn't go to these schools, it, you you got a problem. Yeah. Go see a doctor. Yeah, don't no, look. I'm just picking the games. I don't know if I'm bet on this game now. Let's just keep it at that. Full transparency here. Stanford versus Hawaii. Hawaii is plus three games at 11 o'clock late. Oh, my gosh. Right. Popcorn. Go do something else before the game. Watch the game late at night. Brand new head coach from uh, Sacramento State for Stanford. Troy Taylor. The game's going to be lit. What you think, man? This one is your chasing payments game. This is where you make all the money back if you didn't hit the whole day. Um, so I'm taking Hawaii plus three. It's a... Rat line, you know, people are going to be betting Stanford. They got the big names. Stanford isn't the old Stanford. They're not the same. Hawaii already has a game in. You know, they don't have the jitters. Stanford's traveling, what, six hours into Hawaii. Haven't played a game under this head coach. Give me Hawaii plus three. Give me Hawaii money line. This is a lock. They are going to win this game. Stanford is not the same. This is where you make all your money back if you didn't hit the whole day. You know, you know when you're making them bets late and you're trying to like, you know, get your money back like he said, and you itching and you trying to get even. This might be the time to do so. Chasing I'm taking, payments. Chasing right? payments, Adele style. You know, shout out to Adele. Uh, I'm taking Hawaii money line too, man. Give me the point. I might take the Hawaii money line and the points. And to give me that, I think that the performance last week against Vanderbilt, they came to play. They showed the world and the country, or country essentially. They really bad about it. They using this fire and the tragedy that happened as a motivation. As an internal motivational, you know, setting, and they gonna come through and do what it do and set the place on fire themselves. So uh, why are we looking for you because we gonna need that extra cash if these other games go awry because we don't know what the hell really gonna happen. Hawaii is buying your bar tab at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Book it and mail it. Yep. And ship it first class. All right, y'all. Appreciate you. Deuces. <laughs>